everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sue. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it as always. Okay, today we are getting back to the fabulous Scylla Black. I've done a couple of her songs on the channel and I couldn't wait to get back to doing more of her. She is so great. I'm just absolutely loving the songs that I've done by her. And uh, I'm just so happy that I just happened to stumble across her. And you guys out there have told me so much about her. And clearly she was a very big star. And um, it, it's just so fantastic that I'm finally going down the rabbit hole of Scylla Black. So today we are going to do Scylla doing uh, La Work is a four letter word. And isn't that true, folks? Uh, <laughs> let's face it, sometimes work is a four letter word. But I'm anticipating a great song. I don't know if this is going to be an upbeat song or maybe a little slower. Uh, the last couple we've done have been more ballads. Uh, this one, I don't know, by the name of the song, I'm kind of thinking that maybe it might be a little bit more fun. Uh, just because of the title, but who knows? You never know. Anyway, and if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you like this video, give it a big th thumbs up after you're done watching it. All right, here we go. Scylla Black and work is a four letter word. I am so excited to listen to this. She is fabulous. I'm becoming a big fan of hers. Some men will slave for to provide the things that they pray for. Why do you think work is a four letter word? Loving you is driving me crazy. People say that you were born lazy because you think that. I just have to stop it right there because there's something that she's doing as she's singing the lyrics and I just find this so uh, it's just I love it is that she's singing just like in a normal kind of speed and then she speeds it up really fast it just kind of goes up there a couple of words really quickly and then back to singing slower and I just that the way that she's singing it the cadence or you know just the way that, she, that she's pronouncing it, some of the words is just it's really really cool and I'm really liking that as soon as I heard it right away I'm like ah I like the way she's doing that this is obviously an upbeat song and uh, already it's kind of fun so I'm really really enjoying this and as per usual her voice is amazing she's so good she's so good All right, I'm gonna back it up a little bit so I can hear that fun little way she's doing that that's great loving you is driving me crazy people say that you were born lazy cause you that. think that work is a fall at your word don't waste your life there is so much I know you can do let me see That work is a fall at your work. The one thing that I'm noticing in this song, uh, her voice in the last couple songs that I've listened to have been very powerful, but she's been singing in a much more of a lower kind of register. But this, um, in this song so far, she's getting up there quite high in a number of different spots and it's really fun and it's got a light kind of feel to it. Um, I'm really, really liking this. This is so fun. Back it up again. There we go. Right behind you and my love will help to remind you to forget that work is a fall at your work. I don't want a house that's a show place. I just feel that we're getting no place while you say that work is a fall at your work. You can do let me see you beautiful why do we can take all the hard world that is waiting for you wow if you try i'll be right behind you and my love will help to remind you to forget 
that work is a four letter word I don't want a house that's a show place I just feel that we're getting no place while you say that work is a four letter word four letter word Wow that was quick just two minutes and 12 seconds for that song. That was awesome. I really, really enjoyed that. And like I said, I just love it when she just almost skips over those words and she just says them really quickly. Uh, I just, there's something that I just thought was so cool about the sound of the way she did that. And that one note that she hit, she went up really high on that one note and wow, she's got a beautiful voice. Such a strong voice and clearly she can be in her low register and a high register, it doesn't matter very talented extremely extremely amazing singer so glad that i caught on to Scylla black and i am so glad that you guys have given me more songs of hers to check out so please continue to do that and put more down in the comments and let me know maybe what your favorite Scylla black song is and maybe i can get to that one i'll do as many as i possibly can and if anybody ever saw Scylla black Put that down in the in the comments and tell me like where you saw her and maybe how old you were and what that show was like because I'm sure that would have been really really fun to see as well. Anyway, uh, my fun fact for the day is that this song was actually covered by the Smiths. Uh, now the indie band the Smiths from the UK. Now I am a fan of the Smiths, but I didn't know that they sang this song. So I actually have to check this out now for myself to hear what the Smiths version of this song sounds like. But apparently this was sort of the last straw when it came for Johnny Marr. That was his last straw in the band. I guess they had been having some struggles and some problems and there was some conflict in the band. And finally, when Morrissey wanted to do this song, he wanted to cover this song, Johnny Marr was like, that's it, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, he didn't like the song. I don't know how you couldn't like this song, but he didn't like the song. And uh, and that was the in their last recording session was this song. So anyway, if you have to do it, I guess this is a good song to go out to. And I don't know why Johnny Marr didn't like it because this is a fabulous song and Morrissey was right and Johnny Marr was wrong in this sense because this was a lot of fun. Anyway, I love that and I would love to do more Scylla Black. So, and if there are other female singers that came out around this time that you would like me to look at as well, put those down in the comments as well because I'd be more than happy to check them out. I know there were a lot of uh, female singers that were quite popular in the UK uh, at this time, but maybe there's some American singers or maybe Australian or European singers that were had a similar kind of vibe or feel to it that Scylla did and I'd be more than happy to check them out as well. All right, everybody. Thank you so very much. And like I said, if you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do so. And I will see you all again next time. Have a joyful day. Bye-bye.